Well, is there anything else in the world that you just want to talk about? <laughs> anything you just want to say? No. Any observation? Anything no, about life? No. How do you get to 70, 71 years old of age? Well, I mean, you know, that I did a whole, I mean, we, but we did clean. It, it was clean, mystery fun. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't like it is today. And stuff, you allowed to walk out here tonight, and the guy allowed to ride by and shoot four or five people. Wasn't nothing of that. And stuff, we might go and get a bunch of guys and say, well, we don't like this bunch of guys. And we wouldn't do nothing but fight. One of them might get cut during the time, but that was the worst, of, you know, Breast trouble we ever got in, but as far as uh, like it is now, if, uh, if they were doing the same thing now that we did back in the day, be a whole lot of dead people. Mm. But it's uh, like I mean, like it like it is now. You you can't you can't trust you can't trust the young generation mm. because that uh, you 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 won't live long. You, you won't have to live to get a. Uh, uh, 70 years old. Hmm. If you make it to 50, you done did good. Hmm. You know, young, young people, 13, 14 years old, I mean, they're killing each other. And, 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 and mostly black. But the white folks are killing each other too, but the older. Mm -hmm. and stuff. I mean, because they got more money, they can, you know, take, uh, they, 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 can, they can do a little bit of uh, more expensive drugs. The most expensive drugs is coming from white folks anyway. So, I mean, just, it's something, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't never want to do that no way, so. That didn't, that didn't excite me a bit. Give me a, give me a cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and stuff, and a, and a fishing pole. <laughs> and I'll be just happy as anything. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and, and end this, because okay. uh, I only have a few minutes left on this thing here. Right. And I just want you to know this is one of the first videos I've ever shot. So I'm not you, famous and I'm not a professional. Right. <laughs> so you, uh, you, you, you say you came down from Richmond? Um, I, no, my great-grandmother moved here from Richmond. Mm -hmm. And her name was Sook. She moved here around the 1920s. Well, Fever used to be a tough town then. Mm-hmm. I mean, anything that you wanted, uh, I mean, you probably could get it in Fever. Mm-hmm. I think that's why she liked it, because she used to do a lot of illegal things, I heard. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, I mean, but, but back doing Legal and illegal. Like, she had to cover up for the illegal ones. Yeah, but ones. Like back, you know, back doing our, doing our time, it wasn't, it, it wasn't really what you call illegal. And then you, you could, like I said, you go to jail and spend, spend go to jail and spend the night. Cost you five dollars to get out, but now if you do anything illegal now, you like to spend five years. Mm. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, so so I mean, you did. I just thought that if you did anything wrong, you got caught. You got put on a chain gang back then or something. Well, it it actually was a city phone down in Newport News where they where you had to work down there. I mean, where they they did uh, farm animals and stuff like that. Mm. Stuff where you had to take care of the cows and the chickens and stuff like. But wasn't no such thing as a chain gang ran in. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And you well, wouldn't get early. sent down south to go. Well, the 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 the, the worst thing ran here was in Richmond. Mm -hmm. Was the penitentiary. Okay. And that would be if you murdered somebody. Right. 500 Spring Street. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm that, that was the thing you, you didn't want to go to. Okay. And what everybody was scared, if you went to penitentiary, you were scared to death. Mm-hmm. Because most of the time it was all, these, these were murderers. Mm-hmm. Well, mm -hmm. You know, back during the day, they were them hardcore guys like Al Capone. Mm-hmm. And all them people. Mm-hmm. But you know, you suffer to get, get killed in the penitentiary, you were walking around on the street. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was, uh, that's something, that's, that's a place you didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. The man talking about penitentiary, you're going to straighten up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's the way it is. I mean, that, that's the way it was. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you stay around long enough, that you'll learn a whole lot about this area. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much again. All right. And please tell me your names one more time so I make sure I have it. My name? Yes. I'm Harold Neal. Harold, what's your last name? Neal. Yeah. Harold Neal. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah, were yeah. born in what year again? Huh? What year were you born? Uh, <laughs> 1938. 1938 here right. in Hampton? Yeah, I was born in North Carolina. I came in when I was four years old. Ah, okay. Yeah, All right. So, so I've been here for, you know, quite I left it, but went in service. Oh, okay. 
and then, then I came back and stayed. Matter of fact, I'm still here. Okay. But I, that's the only time I left, I went in, went in the Navy. Oh, okay. And I enjoyed that. Ah, oh, that's good. Mm. And Hi. what's your name again? I'm sorry. Louise. Louise? Neil. Neil. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're from North Carolina originally, and mm -hmm. then you went to, we moved to Bronx. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've been living here 19 years. All right. This year. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you got to learn something new today, too. Oh, yes, I did. As many times as it seems like you come to the beach, it seems like you would have had this conversation. I know. <laughs> well, you know, you, you, you can't tell it all if you mean mm -hmm. going to take, if it took you seven years to learn it. You can't tell it all in, in 70 minutes. <laughs> that's true. So that's it takes 70 years to tell it. Yes, that's true. So, you know, everybody kind of get up in church and say, well, I did this and I did that. But it took it took 70 years to do it. So, I mean, you just can't tell it in, in 70 seconds. <laughs> it takes 70 years to tell it all. That's true. Because the more you talk, the more stuff comes to you. That's true. And so you, 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 you say, well, okay, I'm going to tell how good this guy was when he died and stuff, when he did. <laughs> and what we did together, but if you done did it together, I mean, it, it ain't been in no 30 seconds. <laughs> it's been, been many years. Indeed. I'm going to shut off the...